Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning June 21st, 2021. Real quick here, I was thinking about this the other day and I really want to know about my audience and I know you guys are very open and you share what you're going through and all that in the comments, but let me know how you spend your days. What are you passionate about? What is your new thing that has really uplifted you? Do you spend your day being a nurse, a doctor, an electrician, <laughs> well, you know, how, do, how do you express with this gift of life? Please leave that in the comments down below so I get to know who you all are. All right, so for this week, there's a lot. So I figured I would just sit down in front of the camera and I'm just gonna tune in here and we'll see what pieces they wanna bring through. All right, so a little bit different this week. So here we go. They're, they're saying hurt and pain, hurt and pain. And this has been coming up. I just had conversations with people. We're talking about hurt and pain and we're seeing this in a lot of people and people who are usually pretty closed off are actually coming out and speaking up too. We see this with celebrities as well. They are saying be careful with this because especially people who are out there in the public eye, yes, they've really been through pain, but they might, there might be some agenda behind it. I don't know. There's, there's, some, there's a feeling there of it um, being used in a certain way. So why is this important? Well, we are seeing so much of this shift happening right before our eyes where people are letting their pain bodies run them, okay? And thinking that they have to do everything on their own, that there is no healing for them. There's no point in trying to heal. Well, most people don't come to spiritual practice unless they're seeking, right? Whether, unfortunately, we do have a lot of uh, feeder souls that come into the spiritual community to take advantage of people who are in a low frequency. And then there are a lot of other people who are coming here to figure out their purpose, their path, and learn how to heal on a very, very deep level. We're seeing this turnabout here where there's going to be more cracking and more mess before we start to see, I don't wanna say see the light, that sounds so cliche. <laughs> but what I'm getting at here is that there's more and more of our ego consciousness, not that the ego always has to be bad, as long as it's balanced, it's, it's a good tool, that's what makes us human. But there's more and more of us that are sort of cracking away and more of our light is coming to the surface. All right, long-term effect of this will be us getting into a world where materialism is not so honored. Um, and <laughs> I know a lot of people are going to be, I'll wait until I see that day happening. But you know, I, th I, I think we're going to start seeing people really turning away and understanding that their ego driven need for validation to prove their worth by making a lot of money, having really fancy things. Listen again, we're all built differently. We all have this blueprint. We come in to have a certain human experience. And so if your path is to experience what it is to be really ambitious and to achieve earthly success, that's, that's your soul's path and nobody should be judging you for that. All right. But what I think people are doing is they're looking for a simpler way. They're looking for a simpler life. If you want some practical advice here, watch the real estate market, watch it careful. Again, I was just having this conversation with somebody. I mean, it's we're getting to that place where there's going to be this turnabout. And there's going to be like some rebellion around housing coming up. I don't know that it's just this week. But, um, pardon me. I know it's like bad YouTube practice to go like this. <laughs> to like look off camera. But if you're a medium, listen, we do things the way we got to do them, okay? <laughs> That's it. We have to break the rules here. So let me go in here because... This is a week of, it feels very, very positive. It feels very, um, I'm ready to let this go, right? So if there's something that's been hanging over your head or something that you ruminate about or it really drains your energy and your brain power and distracts you, that's what it is. We're all turning away from the distractions now and going, okay, what do I need to do? What do I need to do to be better? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the old way fall away. And then there's rebellion. The rebellion 
starts to come up where we, they're, they're saying this doesn't even have to be a big thing. I have Metatron in here again. Metatron's a big <laughs> presence. Um, this doesn't have to be big and dramatic and chaotic. We decide what we engage in. Okay. We decide what kind of energy we put out there, but it's this sort of thing where when let's say, you know, we keep talking about governments, but I only talk about governments cause that's, those are like structures in place. And that's the feeling I have around it. It's like, you know, someone says, oh, here's this new rule where you have to do this, this, and this. So more of your money can get taken away. And we say, no, no, you can't say no. Ah, that's how we have been brainwashed. We've been brainwashed to think that we cannot say no to the systems in place. We, and I'm not saying doing this in a crazy way. No, 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 no. This is all from love, <laughs> from love and peace and just setting a boundary and starting with setting those boundaries in our own energetic field, not letting people take advantage of us, not allowing entitled people to tell us how things are going to go. Having your sovereignty, have your sovereignty. So there's the basis of it, <laughs> all right? That's the outer bubble of it. Then you know, bringing it into our practicality. <sighs> toppling. Something toppling. The things that we have thought were so powerful and so <sighs> in charge of us, we realized it had no power <laughs> and it was never in charge of us and we could have always, you know, peacefully and harmoniously been able to work through this. This is a messy process. It is not, we always think this. We think that it has to go from this to fixed. Now, okay, now. <laughs> this is going to be, uh, the messiness is this freedom of cracking out of uh, an old skin. Is that a gross way of putting it? Uh, <laughs> and more and more, as I said before, more and more of the light comes through, we see things for what they really are and we start setting boundaries with it and saying no no you do not for example get to put out something meant to help people but really that was our tax dollars in the first place but you're going to tell people we're setting up this program to help you but here are all the hoops you have to jump through and then we're going to make the hoops smaller higher and then set them on fire right so this is that kind of thing where when I talk waking up, we're waking up to this and this is going to be especially hard. I talk about the elephant in the room. This is going to be especially hard for people who for a survival purpose have shut down their humanity, have shut down their emotions, have rejected their empathy. They are going to victimize themselves. And if you are sensitive, you might say, we can't be so rough on them. We have to coddle them. We have to baby them. All you need to do is tap into how that feels. If you feel drained, that's a sign. If you feel sick to your stomach, I used to feel that way when I would, you know, my whole life has been dealing with narcissistic abuse. I've been very open about that. I think that's a big part of why I'm here is, you know, although I'm not a psychologist, I am an experiencer of it. And so I can share that and give the warning call, like, and just say, watch out, <laughs> right? So there is this thing where we're going to feel like we're getting pulled in. But as I said, if you start to feel sick, if you start to feel aggravated, that's another one. When I started to recover from this, it went from feeling like purely sick to just feeling aggravated. Like, man, are you really putting me in a place where I have to stand up to you? Even though I know that's not going to do any good because you're just going to turn everything around. You see what I'm saying? And now, I don't know, I'm just sitting back and watching the show and watching to see what happens next and staying in a space of love as much as I can. <laughs> Harmony, peace. That's what we're passing along here because this is going to be a big process of coming through. You will see, again, they just keep saying, keep talking about the victimization, how people who have denied their empathy, they only care about themselves, they're self-centered, you know, this sort of thing. These are people who are coming from pain. And, you know, they're in their coping mechanism. So it doesn't excuse bad behavior whatsoever. 
But we need to start not being enablers. You've heard me talk about that for years. Stop defending them. Let them figure it out on their own. <laughs> Whatever you feel is right in a situation, okay? Uh, because the reason why this gets so complicated is then you don't want to sit there and like diagnose somebody and be like, you know what, you don't deserve my help. And maybe it's somebody who really needed help. You see what I'm saying? So what we're getting at here is discernment, balance, harmony, peace, love. You come from that space and you would be amazed at the clarity and where you know not to give in to somebody, okay? Uh, quick side note, it's construction season. They're doing something to the apartment next door to me. It's faint and it's just sporadic. So I think we're good. Hardly anything ever picks up on this mic anyway, uh, but just in case. I put music under my videos, but again, just in case. That's what's going on. <laughs> All right, so that's the kind of energy that we are dealing with here. And I'm saying toppling over. So we're seeing structures. So we, uh, as individuals, we're not just cracking open and you know having the clarity come forward. <sighs> like, <laughs> Banking systems, governments, all that stuff, it's going to start, oof, the cracks are going to show. And the reason why I hesitated just, just now, I, I found myself having conversations, having a lot of conversations, and talking about uh, some of the things that I've experienced with predatory type people. This is harassment, you know, that sort of thing. If you are someone out there watching this video and you've abused your power, yeah, you should be nervous. Or maybe you've already gotten notice that you should be nervous. That doesn't mean everyone's going to come like suing you. or And if you're innocent, then you got nothing to worry about, right? But the day of people giving into false power is done. Comment down below. How many of you have worked in a corporate environment? Is that the garbage guy now? We're doing this. I ain't doing no distractions today. <laughs> no. <laughs> but if you've ever been in a corporate environment, where there are these sort of like made up power structures and you know, it doesn't matter how talented or smart you are, you're gonna be put into a box and suppressed and looked down upon because somebody else gets to play the, the royalty role or whatever. Do you see what I'm saying? It, it's that kind of energy applied to the world where we're going, wait a minute, why do we keep letting this fool come out and talk about this, that? <laughs> representing us. Wait a minute, why are we allow why am I allowing this neighbor to speak to me like that? Or why am I letting this person invade my boundaries when I said no? You have to respect that. Like, no, you're not entitled to me. It goes on and on. We could be at this forever. But this is that big, I think this is that big moment. So it's good. Oh gosh, how do I say this? It's a good thing for the pure hearted. It's a rough thing for those who have used uh, lack of empathy as a coping mechanism to shut down your feelings. It's going to be rough for you. And if there's any comeback, if you're going to be the comeback kid, this is your time. Figure it out and heal, okay? For those who have sort of reveled in power plays and you have no heart left, it's going to be a bad time for you, okay? It's not going to be fun and you're going to whine and cry and make yourself a victim and try to get people to feel sorry for you and we're all so much smarter now and so we're not going to do it, okay? You get no more of us, okay? Let's get on to the cards because I'll go on forever about this. All right, guys. Using my old standbys. <laughs> I know, I get onto this thing where I just like my decks and I just keep using them, but why not? Literally the garbage guy and there's hammering next door. <laughs> I ain't stopping. <laughs> we're not the, the, I'm going to interpret this we're not shying away or being held down anymore we're not so again let me make this clear if you are somebody who's like being uh, abrasive aggressive being in people say that's the way to do it I've said this a million times look at history it don't work okay <laughs> it don't work so try a different way thanks Comment down below. How's my mic? Okay, good. It's a new day for a lot of people, guys. Oh, it's, oh, I love it. Can I have the cards now, please? Because <laughs> I don't want to shuffle here forever. <laughs> I 
First card out we have Surrender to the Divine Full Moon. This is where, again, we're not playing into the story so much anymore. And we have to be careful about going, got it, got it, I know everything now. That's another thing that we see quite a bit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I finally left that person and good for you. You know, if you got yourself out of a bad situation, but this is exposure, okay? And so the reason why I say be careful about jumping to, jumping to conclusions and thinking you've got it is because you don't, <laughs> right? So more information to come. This could be, you know, I, I uh, might be more things revealed, more secrets revealed-ish. Okay. There might be a sense this week of feeling out of control. Um, you might start to get to that. It just depends on where you are in your path, what your soul's contract is. By the way, if you want to get a reading with me, go to angelsouls444.com. If you are interested in let's say an Akashic Records reading. Yes, I can do that. People have been asking about that. Yes, I could do that for you. I'm not gonna put that up as an option on my site. Just purchase whatever time length you want and just make sure you put it in the submission form that you want an Akashic Records reading. Obviously there won't be cards pulled for that. It's a different kind of reading, okay? So there's that. And of course I have the Archangel Metatron meditation challenge. How are y'all doing with that? It seems like that's a popular one. People are loving it. So comment down below, how's that going for you? If you want to join, it's timeless. You just hop in whenever you want. Just go on over to gumroad.com slash angel souls. And you can also do the Archangel Michael meditation challenge. It's still available if you would rather do that. Cool. And then you can get a feel for yourself as you go through that process. Or if you want to get a personal reading to see what do I need to see about myself? What, you know, full moon, what it gets exposed for you. How can I release myself from pain so that I can function at an optimal level, <laughs> right? Something like that. But this is going to feel like, how much more can we take? How much are we supposed to go through? How much don't go in to victimhood? That's a low frequency. You don't want to be in denial. You can't fool the universe. <laughs> so it's going to ping back to you if you're doing this false positivity, especially false positivity to diminish others who are going through a hard time to make you seem like you're on a pedestal telling you the day is done <laughs> it's trying to warn everybody but surrender to the divine give it over okay there is that let's see what else we have here nothing is yet set in stone mutable moon so i'm saying to you the things that you think you have to put up with that we all have to put up with it's changing we're finding a better way but the important message here is don't mess this up by not not you, me too, all of us, the collective, right? For us to not mess up this process of recovery by overcorrecting, okay? Don't turn into a bully for your cause because then you're no better than the people you're fighting against. What are you doing? That's not how it goes. You think you know the world, but nah, okay? <laughs> if we're talking disclosure, it's already happened it's already happened you don't you don't need someone to come out and tell you what's up right uh, and if you look at the image on this card there's kind of a stormy sea there so um, that's and that goes in with that surrender to the divine the emotions are getting stirred up this week and it could be good depends on who you are and where you are <laughs> right? uh, if you're somebody who is very much in your ego and your ego is your protection um, this is gonna be a scary time for you and to that I say hey just I know it's going to be scary, but go within. Where can you heal? Where did your wall get put up? At what point? What can you do to come through that? Okay. So there's that. Oh, a new romantic cycle begins. I could use a new romantic cycle. I'm ready to release all the old narcissistic relationships. Every predator I've ever come across who's tried to just get into my energy and like, I keep thinking of that. What was it? A Tropicana? commercials like from the 80s or something where they stick a straw on the side of the orange <laughs> that's that's how I see it <laughs> where these like energy vampires come around and it's all about them and how you can serve them and how you I've heard so many times I think you'd be so good for me and they're not meaning it like I see value in you it's I feel like I'm entitled to you and therefore you have to let me be the ruler of you and let me take your energy but no <laughs> just say no all right <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. Okay. <laughs> new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. But there's a balance and there's a beauty and there's a grace. And now, to me, this is a real expression of love. So for some of you out there, 
you are going through a time where, you know, maybe you're going through rough relationships. We should talk about this. Okay, so yes, there are going to be a lot of relationships that start to break down. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, no, not mine. We're all in relationships to learn from one another. But if you're somebody who um, went into that toxic thought form, mind control, however you want to see that, that says, um, you know, you have to be married. You should take what you can get. I've heard that myself before. Again, devaluing <laughs> me. Um, you know, you're my property. I All those kinds of things. We're waking up to that. Please, 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 please make sure that if you're in a very, very toxic situation that you have proper support in place before you try to make any move. Yes, people can be dangerous. Okay, so make sure you're taking all care to get a plan. All right, and of course you have our love and support as well. So a new romantic cycle begins, a new approach to love. But this is also, it doesn't have to just be romantic love. Um, you know, that's a general card, right? So this is finding the love for all of us and not I'm telling you, the false gurus, the false gurus, the people that just, uh, you know, I'm not saying that you're a sellout if you're successful, certainly not. But there has to be some measure of game playing to get somewhere. And especially if you're getting there quickly. You ever know that person that went from sitting in a cube in the hall with no name on their cube and nobody knew what they did and all of a sudden they're an executive vice president? Interesting, right? Yeah. We're stopping all that now. And it's not about um, like being the moral police or whatever. It's not that. It's just... We're not giving energy to it anymore. Does that make sense? So instead of going, oh my gosh, scandalous, let's gossip about that now. And also, I'm going to pretend like that's not happening. No. Also, I'm going to fight and be like, oh my God, do you see this person? None of that. You see it, it registers. You don't give it energy. You understand that people are on their path. Okay. So that's different than putting energy into denial because then you're pushing it. There's like a forcefulness, like I'm going to pretend like it's not there. Do you see what I'm saying? Staying very present, very balanced, very in alignment and processing and then keeping it moving. Okay. And here we go. A win-win outcome is forecast another full moon. Well, that was a new moon, but this is another Libra card. Balance, 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 beauty, harmony, grace. A win-win outcome is forecast. We're going to find a better way, but we can't, we can't keep progressing if people are freaking out. If people are letting their own egos get in the way, this is how you should live because I, I know the way. <laughs> oh God. Anybody, as soon as someone's like, I know best and you should do that. I'm like, oh, bye. You know, oh, oh dear. I just knocked the whole deck over. <laughs> I'll get that later. Okay. So here we go with the color card and I got something on my color card. There we go. Let's see. I know this might seem like a very scattered message, but listen, I'm not here to feed you a story. I'm here to tune in and get a message and pass it along. That's another thing. We've got to start breaking out of like such linear, boxed in kind of thinking, right? Not that that's this audience here. I mean, most of you get it. <laughs> or at least you know how I can be. <laughs> right? So that's fine. All right. Let's see. It's a good time, they say. It's a good time for the light, the light-hearted ones. Mm -hmm. And they don't mean like light, like light and airy, fairy, fluffy. They mean like heart light. Yes. More research to be done in promising arenas. This is heart math. <laughs> I bet you guys have heard of that, right? Um, heart intelligence. That's what it is. Okay, thank you guys. This is that sort of thing where there might be more discoveries about empathy and the intelligence of the heart and that's where we start kind of changing our perspective not in a judgmental way of you're bad you're good you're bad you're good but in a oh so emotional intelligence doesn't make you weak and actually now we start to see others who have shut down their emotional intelligence as not being at full capacity we've been saying that for years okay color card auburn ground yourself the number is 11 yes very Medi 11, 11, very Metatron kind of, <laughs> kind of number. So stay grounded, detox your energy. Don't get wound up. Okay. Don't get wound up. And also don't pretend like you don't care because you do balance, 
Groundedness, if you've ever been, you know, having a really hard time in your life and you do a grounding meditation, for example, the obstacles kind of, they, they, they're still there, but your perception around them as being impossible, that dissolves, right? That sort of starts to go away if you're doing these practices, right? So that's why I think it's so important to get out into nature and we keep saying ground, 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 be very, very grounded. Work with Archangel Sandalfin to balance your chakras and your human self with your spiritual self and, you know, just remain anchored, I think, is what we're getting at here. Okay, so we're going to leave it there, guys. I am sending you all so much love and take care.